To God be the glory and praise, I would like to share to each and every one the dream that I had June the 22nd. I saw myself walking to the church with my family. So as we go in the church, I noticed that there's only few people inside and the pastor was standing on, uh, on top of the stage and um, at the very end of the stage were actually, you know, rows of people but there's no chair available but i noticed that it was only few people and it's like a close knit there, there's only a certain group of people and you can't go in so when we go in there's no chair available and uh it's it only fit the only few only few that fits in and there's no available chair left for each and every one of us so what we did is we turned around and moved out of the out of the church. And as we go out of the church, I noticed that there's a lot of people uh, outside the church. Some of them were seated on the bench. Others were standing on the street. Others were just walking. And others were seated also because there's chairs on the street. And so i was looking at them because a lot of them are just not doing anything but they are there and so i turn around again as i turn around i was facing this staircase it's a brick stairs and as i was uh, facing this brick staircase i started to walk as i walk in you know as i walk to that staircase at the very top let's say i was here first and walking at the very top of the staircase i've seen people coming out let's say it's here so you know the way you i see it is i can see only this part right and then there's staircase here and a lot of people are coming out of this way at the very top of this brick staircase one thing i've noticed was people are looking up high in the sky and i recognize one he's my uncle and he's actually having cancer right now and he's very sick he was the one who helped me you know i stayed in their house before i came here in the states and so anyway i saw him he was looking up the sky but his face was very calm and very calm and very peaceful and so i walk i started r running on the staircase just to meet him and the moment i saw him i understand immediately that he accepted jesus as his lord and his savior and then i hug him in tears it's a joy of tears because i know that uh you know he accepted jesus and so as i hugged him i said praise be to god i was really so happy to know that he accepted jesus and so when I woke up, I wrote this down and uh, no, actually days after because I think I forgot and that's why I have like first and second, uh, you know, the arrow. But anyway, I was just wondering why was the church lacked to certain groups only and why are there only few believers? Why are others on the street? So you have those questions of why. When you go to 2 Timothy 4 verse 3. For the time will come when men will not tolerate sound doctrine, but with itching ears, they will gather around themselves teachers to suit their own desires. So there will be a time, and it's actually happening right now, that people don't want to go to church because they know that the church, if the church are talking about the words of God, they don't want to listen. Same with us when we speak and share our testimony here in YouTube. When you share something and they don't want, they don't want to hear what they want to, uh, what you tell them, they get rid of you, they get out, or they don't go to the church anymore. And so, um, that's why they're looking for uh, teachers that will just satisfy their craving, that you know to the itching of their ears and so why did you know as an example why did we left the church the first church that we went in when we were um you know before i was that's the church where i was baptized and born again 
there are different reasons and I started with mine, okay? I left the church where I was in because the preacher don't teach about the, uh, the word of God. And if he does, he does put bits and pieces, yes. But then when he started to speak about, you know, he started to speak about, don't take the Bible literally. We immediately knew this is, you know, we're no longer going in this church. Why are we not going to get the take the Bible literally? The Lord take us seriously. Therefore, we have to take the Bible seriously because that's the Word of God. And so, um, some of the uh, the teachers or the pastors are actually talking mostly when they preach on stage. We attended one of the church. And all you can hear from him is just talking about the football because his son is a football player. Or maybe the pastor is a coach and he will be talking about football all the time. This is not about football. This is about the words of God that we need to hear. And so some of them also, some of the people abandon their church because um, the pastors don't live according to the words of God. What, uh, you know, what do I mean by this? There are teachers or pastors who are talking about the words of God, but you see them driving Corvette or Rolls Royce, very expensive car, and then um, at night you see them partying, or maybe the pastors are gay, or maybe they have a double life. You know, they're cheating or they're stealing in the church. And all they talk about is riches. And I've also, um, I also heard one of the, uh, you know, pastor in the church TV that all you can hear from him is money, money. Because he bought, uh, you know, a yacht or whatever. And they have multi-million dollar houses. If you want, to follow the Lord, you can live simple. And there's a lot of people asking for help. Why do you have to be so abundant, so, um, you know, extravagant in everything? So anyway, there's also p reasons that the church compromises with money. And the church accepts gay and lesbian marriage. And people who really believe that that's not, and I don't believe about gay and lesbian marriage because it's against the words of God. So that's one of the reasons why people leave the church. And some of the church also, they have their idols. They have statues and they're teaching false doctrines. And a lot of people also lost, you know, lost their faith in the church for so many reasons. And some of them are actually losing faith in going to church because that something happened to them that hurts them so much and they feel like the Lord abandoned them and they don't want to go to church. This is why a lot of people I'm seeing on the street with the, be, uh, with the people being corrupted, a lot of people are falling away from faith. And so when you go to 2 Timothy 4 verse 2, preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and encourage with every form of patient instruction. In 1 Timothy 4 verse 1, Now the Spirit expressly states that in latter times, some will abandon their faith to follow deceitful spirit and the teaching of demons. And so brothers and sisters, we really have to hold on our faith. We know that we are going to suffer suffer persecutions and there's going to be trials all the time and so we need to stand strong the lord suffered persecution and trials so it doesn't mean that because something happened to you and the lord didn't immediately answer your prayer you will immediately stop praying and don't believe in the word of god don't do that brothers and sisters with the everything that happened Everything happens for a reason. We always have to think. But the Lord said, He's not going to forsake us or abandon us. And so, how will you discern this spirit? You know, when when you go to church, 
and you know that the church you feel like oh something's wrong or eerie in this church and you feel like you need to live how will you discern the spirit on first john 4 verse 3 and every spirit that does not confess jesus is not from god this is the spirit of the antichrist which you have heard is coming and is already in the world at this time so when when the church there are a lot of church now i've heard a few on you know uh, i don't know if it's true in youtube some of uh, that was long time ago that some of the pastors were saying you know jesus is is a man and he's not a uh, messiah so if a person or anyone who's teaching to you and tell you jesus is only human and he's not the he's not our christ and our savior then get out of the church okay if they're marrying gays and lesbian get out of the church because remember what the lord said about the um about the head of the church he's the one leading the the ship you are the members of the church and you are the ship and if the leader of the ship um don't uh don't fully believe in the lord jesus and they are doing things that are unrighteous in the eyes of god then where do you think he is going to lead you i'm sure he's going to lead you to distraction so get out of the church focus primarily in the bible and so um this is how they will go to church that will suit you know when um, a lot of people right now they get out of the they get out of the church because there are only few church that speaks about the truth and then they go to church that will just go on dancing it looks like a disco house they sing with uh, i don't know they they pray with the lord but with all the expensive accessories and they dance like uh, i don't know if they're in the disco house that they're dancing and they're dancing this um uh, aggressive and uh, oh very seductive kind of dances in church and that's not that's not right and you go to church to worship the lord in spirit and you have to respect the lord for he is god almighty the creator of heaven and earth and so if you see this kind of worship do you think they're worshiping the true god i don't think so so why am i seeing a bunch of people looking up in the sky when you go to hebrews 12 verse 2 keep your eyes on jesus who both began and finished this race we're in study how he did it because he never lost sight of where he was headed that accelerating finish in and with god he could put up anything along the way cross shame whatever and now he's there in the place of honor right alongside with god you know god the Fa jesus christ died on the cross for each and every one of us and he shed his blood uh, to save us from our sins and so therefore brothers and sisters don't put into waste the blood that jesus christ shed for each and every one of us in order to give us uh you know a chance to be with him in heaven and so therefore before it's too late we have to focus and keep our eyes to god the father cleanse ourselves and make sure make sure that we're we're you know if you're doubtful with the church you're going into stop focus reading your bible and speak to god through prayers and fasting is important too because you have to kill uh you know the the flesh in order to be closer much closer to the lord and so brothers and sisters the lord is soon coming anytime soon and we have to prepare we have to pray constantly praise him and walk in righteousness towards him so brothers and sisters god bless each and every one in jesus mighty name amen <laughs>